Hey, that's called stereo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I got two as well, Mark. I got three. I don't know what pet. What is this that's, all that's about? That's dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah. Mission. <laughs> Mission. What's this pressure? You ready, Craig? In recognition. I got six. Everybody got six? That, that clock's slow, right? All right. Take your time. I'd like to call the Maryville Redevelopment meeting. Commission meeting for Tuesday, July 13th to order at 6 o'clock. Mr. Secretary, roll call. Mr. White? Yes. Mr. Hardaway? Yeah. Ms. Uslak? Here. I am here, Mr. President. I am here. We have five members. We have a quorum. Uh, next item on the agenda is, account, is, is a consent agenda. Accounts payable register voucher approval for July 13th, 2021 and approval of the Meeting minutes for June 22nd, so 2021. Moved. So moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Uzelak, seconded by Mr. Hardaway to present, uh, approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we have no old business, Mr. Reardon? Um, no, sir. All right. Under new business, we have a letter from the town engineering administrator Endorsing core construction's recommendation to approve payment for application number 21 to various vendors for work completed at the Maryville at the Dean and Barbara White Community Center. Uh, Building Corporation Redevelopment Commission MCC requisition number 37 review and approval for payment and the Redevelopment Authority Redevelopment Commission MCC requisition number 38 for review and for payment. Mr. King. Yes, sir. How are you? I am fantastic. You're good? I am That's fantastic. Good. All right. <laughs> All right, so the town's professional staff is, uh, and myself, we've reviewed the, uh, the June 2021 billing uh, for the Dean and Barbara White Community Center, and we do concur with Core Construction's recommendation uh, approving payments for application number 19 to the vendors uh, listed below here on the letter on the amount of $437,441.15. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Mr. Hardaway, seconded by Mrs. Uslak to approve requisition uh, application number 21 to various vendors for work completed at the Dean and Barbara White Community Center. Is there any further discussion? I have one question, Steve, on yes, the, um, do we normally get this exhibit A, this disbursement of funds for from the construction fund? We do, we normally get that? Okay, that's the first time I saw that or saw it okay all right uh seeing none um can we have a roll call mr secretary mr white yes mr hardaway yeah. you get my yes uh, you're on my bad ear i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> miss uslak yes uh, I am a yes, Mr. Pennant. Yes, motion carries 5-0. Next item is consider of pro consideration of proposal for sublease of portion for recreational purposes. Mr. Reardon. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that this is um, for the Epic building. Bob, is that correct? There it is. It's in the back. It's in the back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your sublease agreement draft dated July 13, 2021, sublease agreement between the Maryville Youth Sports Authority Incorporated sub lessor and the Maryville, uh, Town of Maryville Redevelopment Commission sub leasee. Uh, if you folks will remember, we had workshops. Bob, you want to step up to the podium just in case there's a question. Um, and Joe's, uh, let the record show, Joe Svetnoff is, is in attendance. This is the, um, tonight will be the last step 
uh, that the RDC will take uh, after a 30-day comment period, and if no one responds to the public notice, then on August 13th, the Maryville Youth Sports Authority will pass its own resolution, and immediately after that, then the Boys and Girls Club will enter into a lease with the redevelopment, the redevelopment will enter into a lease with the, the youth sports organization, and the youth sports organization will enter into a lease with Epic United. Is that correct, Bob? That sounds correct. All right, so um, I'm not sure why we have consideration of proposals, but this is just that I think Tom gave it, Tom Pittman drafted right. this and gave us a copy of this just for our uh, knowledge and, and review. Um, Joe, I don't know if you've had a chance to take a look at this or not. No, I have. It seems that everything's in order and it, you're exactly correct in terms of the steps that need to be taken from here to complete this transaction. So, okay. Are there any questions or comments on the, uh, on the agreement or anything along the lines of this project, ladies and gentlemen? Seeing none, uh, we'll move on to general orders. Um, resolution. Resolution 2149 is a resolution of the Maryville Redevelopment Commission approving a form of economic development agreement and related matters thereto. This is for Liberty Estates, LLC. And we have a copy of the economic development agreement um, as well that goes behind resolution 2149. Mr. Reardon. Uh uh, Mr. President, at the request of ownership, uh, they're, they're asking that this be tabled this evening, expecting to uh, represent at the uh, first immediate uh, redevelopment commission meeting. All right. Motion. Chair will entertain a motion for table. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Hardaway, seconded by Mr. Minchuk to table resolution 21-49 at the request of the uh, petitioner. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is resolution 21-50, is a resolution of the Maryville Redevelopment Commission declaring an area in Maryville, Indiana as an economic development area and approving an economic development plan for said area. This is for the Twin Acres Economic Development Area. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Reardon, we heard the presentation um, by the Weiss entity uh, group um, at, a, at an RDC workshop before, did we not? That is correct. Okay. Um, to refresh everyone's memory, this is, again, I put Bob on the spot, this is the first of four steps uh, that the town will go through. Uh, the redevelopment starts the process of creating a TIF. Uh, it has already been discussed briefly. Um, Councilwoman Uselak, Councilman Minchuk, and myself sit on the Planning Commission, Bob. Uh, this was at the workshop. A week from tonight will be the public vote at the Planning Commission level. It will go then back to the full Town Council and a confirmatory resolution at the RDC. Correct. Okay. Any questions for Bob or on this matter for Twin Acres? A question. Yes. Uh, is this going to be a new TIF district or is this connected to... Uh, this is a new TIF district. New and separate. New and separate TIF district. Specifically, the, the TIF yes. district specifically for that, that project? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's an economic development plan in your packet, Councilman White, okay. for Twin Acres, and it will highlight the area. I believe uh, Mr. Anderson, representing Weiss Entities and Twin Acres, is here. If we have any specific questions, Richard. I think in your packet there is a picture that shows exactly the land. I've seen it. Can you just state your name, Rich, for the record? Yes, Richard Anderson, 9211 Broadway, Maryville, Indiana. If you look at page 7 of that packet that came, that basically outlines in purple the area of this. And tonight what you're doing is you are designating or this allocation Got it. area. Leonard? Is one of the that steps. One. Okay. That's any, the area. Now, are any hands in that area? No. Okay. No. All right. No more questions on that. Okay. Thank Any you. other questions for Mr. Anderson or Mr. Swentz? Joe, everything good? Everything's great. All right. Chair will entertain a motion on resolution 21-50. So motion. moved. Motion by uh, Mrs. Uzelak. Was the second Mr. White? I think that's Mr. Minchuk. Mr. Minchuk? That's one. Okay. Motion by Mrs. Uzelak. Seconded by Mr. Minchuk. 
Motion by Mrs. Uzelak, seconded by Mr. Minchuk to approve resolution 21-50. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Week from tonight, Richard. Uh, next item, Mr. Reardon, is resolution 21-52. Is a resolution of the Maryville Redevelopment Commission confirming certain amendments to the respective declaratory resolution and economic development plan for each of the town's existing Maryville Road Economic Development Area, Century Plaza Broadway Economic Development Area, Mississippi Street Economic Development Area, and the interest at I-65 State Road 30 Economic Development Area, consolidating such economic development area and the economic development plans related thereto, adding certain projects to the consolidated economic development plan and related matters thereto. Mr. Reardon, Mr. Swentz, um, we are to have a public hearing on this resolution. Correct. Okay, can you elaborate just a little bit, Bob, as to what this is? This is something that's become common around the state. We, we have a number of separate allocation areas, and what we're doing is consolidating them for legal purposes. We'll still account for them separately, but then it allows you to spend, spend money from one to the other. And I think this was primarily because we are pledging those dollars to the lease payment for the Epic building, which she just talked about. Okay. And that was the purpose. Okay, very good. Uh, any questions of the commission before I open up the public hearing? A uh, question. Uh, with the consolidation of uh, the uh, TIF districts, had any of those TIF districts was set to expire or? <clears throat> they are set to expire. Maryland uh, Road would be the oldest, wouldn't it, Bob? Uh, I have it right here. Somewhere. I believe the, um, oh, here it is. The Mississippi Street and Merrillville Road are set to expire first. Uh, the original Mississippi Street will expire in 2027, mm -hmm. but there were a number of expansion areas there. Merrillville Road, the original, is also 2027. Mm -hmm. It had one expansion that will expire in 2037. Mm -hmm. And then there are obviously a number in the Century Plaza, the Mariplex District, and The original Broadway Century Plaza will expire in 2032. Uh, the Ameriplex will expire in 2035, as well as one of the Broadway expansion areas. And the final Broadway expansion area will expire in 2038. Okay. So in 2027, the town will see a huge increase in their net, net assessed values as those expire. Can you elaborate just a little bit for me on the terms of expansion? Because I don't quite understand what the expansion part of it is. So the best example is probably Mississippi Street because we did that in phases. We created one allocation area, and as Mississippi Street was expanded, we, we added parcels to that allocation area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there were multiple expansions onto that. Each okay. expansion is considered a separate allocation area. And they have different termination dates. Okay, thank you. Uh, no more questions on that. Everyone all set? At this time, I'd like to open up the, I, I, I'm supposed to open up the public hearing, Bob? Yes. Sir. All right, we're open for a public hearing on resolution 21-52. Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor or against this resolution? Anyone that w wants to speak in favor or against this resolution? Last time, anyone that wants to speak in favor or against this resolution? Seeing none, let the record show there was no remonstration for 21-52. Back to the commission members. Any further discussion? Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Minchuk, seconded by Mrs. Uzelak to approve resolution 21-52. Uh, one last, uh, Joe, any legal comments? No, at this time, it seems like a very viable way to go. 
and it seems like we'll be reducing um, we'll be reducing uh, all these districts into one, which is uh, beneficial for the town. Okay. All right, seeing none, uh, all those in favor signify of, of adoption of resolution 21-52 say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And the last item on the agenda is resolution 21-52 is a resolution of the Maryville Redevelopment Commission approving a form of subleafs and irrevocable pledging certain tax increment revenues from the allocation areas within the Maryville Consolidated Economic Development Area to the payment of sublease payments under the sublease. Again, as uh, Bob alluded to, this is uh, the resolution that goes with us pledging um, the monies similar to what we give in the grant fund to the Maryville Community School Corporation. Uh, this will be, uh, if you will, a subsidy uh, for the Boys and Girls Club uh, entering into a lease with the Epic United Volleyball Club building where the Boys and Girls Club will have approximately 15 to 20,000 square feet in that new epic building, as well as the use of a court um, for a new Maryville Boys and Girls Club, which I know Mr. Hardaway has worked tirelessly on. Uh, thank you, Richard, for your effort and your understanding. Uh, it's been a long time coming getting to this point. So, um, Bob, are there any other comments or anything I missed? Correct. Question. Yes. Yes, in the terms of uh, the, uh, the payment, I guess I'm asking, uh, does that go into a TIF account, or does the TIF account actually pay for that particular project? I believe, Pat, you send, in, in the case of the Maryville Schools, when you, get, you and Kelly get the draw, we cut a check to Maryville Community School Corporation, do we not, for the grant amount? Uh, yes, that's my understanding, yes. Mm -hmm. So it would be the same situation. Uh, they'll get the draw, the, the biannual draws, semi-annual draws, and uh, then they'll send it over to, one will go to Boys and Girls Club, one will go to uh, Maryville School Corporation. Is that right? Okay. Okay, thank you. No more questions. All right, any more questions from the commission? I'm going to open it up for the public hearing. At this time, is there anyone that wants to speak in favor or against Resolution 21-53? Anyone that wants to speak in favor or against Resolution 21-53? Last chance. Anyone in favor or against Resolution 21-53? Seeing none, let the record show there was no remonstration on Resolution 21-53. Back to the commission. One last chance. Motion for 21-53. Second. Second. Motion by Mr. Minchuk, seconded by Mr. Hardaway to approve Resolution 21-53. Uh, one last question, Joe, do you have any comments or concerns? No, not at this time. All right. Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. One last thing, ladies and gentlemen. Motion to adjourn. Sure. What is it, John? <laughs> Motion to adjourn. Oh, okay. <laughs> Second. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say something.